I'm Gemma DeFee Cooper from Harding Charter Prep High School in Oklahoma City, and I'm also a master teacher with OERB. Today's lesson is called Finding Your Voice in Poetry. I am poetry. And it's an English language lesson brought to you by the people of Oklahoma Oil Natural Gas. So let's get started. But first, I want to address that poetry is one of those things that tends to throw people off. They start to think it's too difficult, it's too hard to be creative with structured writing. But the truth is that if you have a template to go by, it's actually very easy. So let's look at the materials we're going to need to, so that you can write your own piece of poetry today. The first thing you're going to need is a template. This template has been provided for you as a link. So once you have this printed off, you'll be able to write your own piece of poetry line by line in a very organized fashion with full instructions. You're also going to need an old magazine that you can cut into for images that you're going to use to decorate your poem at the end. You're going to need a glue stick or a carton of glue. You're going to need pens and markers for decoration, a pair of scissors, and construction paper if you want it. So, Let's write some poetry. Today, I am going to help you through the poem Stanza by Stanza. A stanza is a group of lines that acts like a building block. It's a reoccurring unit of structure inside of a poem. So let's look at our template that we have printed off in front of us. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to notice the title. It's called I Am Poetry. It's all about you. It's who you are, who you want to be, or who you could even see yourself as. So this is a three stanza poem. It has 18 lines, and the first, sixth, twelfth, and eighteenth line of the poem are all repeated. Those are your main opening concept, your theme. So a theme is also a core concept that runs throughout a piece of poetry, and this gives you great structure to go off of. So if you look at the first line of the poem, our theme, it asks you to give two special characteristics of yourself. Now this can be who you are, who you see yourself as, or even who you want to be. So for my theme, my first line, my core concept, I've chosen the words strong and brave. This sets my tone. Tone is the attitude of the writer towards the audience. I am the writer, you are the audience. So today I was feeling like I needed to be tough and brave. So my tone starts off that way. Line one, I am brave and strong. So once you figure out your theme and then you set your tone with this first line, you then need to go ahead and move on to line two. Each subsequent line of the poem will ask you to come up with one thing about yourself either literal, which is the way you actually are, figurative, which is the way you could be seen as, or imaginary, the way you would like to see yourself as. So let's go ahead and look at line two. Line two asks you to wonder about something, something you're curious about. So think about the things that you're curious about. What out there in the world makes you wonder? One of the things I've always been curious about is other people. So it was a very easy line for me. My second line reads, I wonder how other people live. And then I already have lines one and two. So what we need to do now is move on to lines three and four. Line three asks me what I hear, and line four asks me what I see. Now this is a great opportunity for you to reference line two. I wondered how other people live, and now I hear their voices and I see their smiles. Line five asks me what I want, and again, I can reference what I have already written. So, I want to see the world, especially being shut up like we are now. Definitely, I want to go see the world. So at this point, we are going to tie everything all together with line six. Now remember, I told you, lines one and six are exactly the same. I am brave and strong. This completes our first stanza. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you my first stanza as it is completed and I'm going to read it to you. I am brave and strong. 
I wonder how other people live. I hear their voices. I see their smiles. I want to see the world. I am brave and strong. And that's how easy it is. So let's now take a look at the second stanza. This section is asking for more imagery. An imagery is a descriptive language that helps the reader form a scene in their mind using the five senses, touch, taste, sight, sound, and smell. So line seven asks you for something you pretend to be. And line eight wants to know your feelings about something imaginary. So looking at my example again and keeping with the theme and the tone I set where I am brave and strong, I wanted to pretend to be something that I'd always wanted. And that as a little kid was that I wanted to learn to fly. What little kid doesn't want to learn to fly? So I pretend I can fly. And then I can feel the wind in my hair. This leads up to more imagery in line nine. If I'm in the sky, then perhaps I can also touch the clouds. So I'm feeling the clouds, I'm feeling the wind in my hair. Now, lines 10 and 11 are harder. It's always really difficult in poetry to express your innermost feelings, but that's okay because that's something called contrast. When you have something that contrasts with something else, it shows a difference and a flow within the imagery. So line 10 asks for what bothers you and line 11 wants to know what makes you cry. Followed again by our core concept, our main theme, which is I am brave and strong. Now remember, whatever you choose for line one of your, two, of your stanzas of the entire poem needs to work with everything. So I am brave and strong really needs to be that thematic core concept that runs all the way through. Now, this can seem tricky, but remember, I was talking about contrast a minute ago. Contrast is always a good thing in poetry. Contrast is when a writer uses or describes the differences in two or more things. So if I'm brave and strong, a good contrast to that would be something that makes me cry. So I'm brave and strong and I have things that make me cry. Let's look at stanza two together. I pretend I can fly. I feel the wind in my hair. I touch the clouds floating by. I worry about going too high. I cry if I am alone. I am brave and strong. And again, that's really how simple it can be. At this point, if you have been writing your own poem, you are now done with two out of the three stanzas. So let's look at stanza three. Stanza three is going to conclude everything and tie everything up together. Lines 13 through 18 at this point should be a breeze. So it is going to ask you on line 13 for something you understand. It is also going to ask you to use that repeated thematic line on line 18. So you need to get creative. You need to really think about what everything is and who you want to be, who you are all together, and remember, there are no limits in poetry. Let's look at my last stanza. I understand life can be hard. I say, follow your heart. I dream about going even higher. I try to share my dreams. I hope to see the world. I am brave and strong. And once you finish stanza three, you're done. Congratulations, you've written an 18 line piece of poetry. Good job. So once you have your finished poem and you feel like it is complete and you're not wanting to change anything, you can get even more creative with this assignment. For example, I've taken my finished piece of poetry that I just read you guys, and I've taken cutouts from the magazine that I showed you earlier, images that represent me and who I would like to be. I've also taken my markers and I've drawn designs, strong, brave designs on my piece of paper to make it more decorative. I glued this onto my construction paper and then I took those cutouts and I pasted them around the glued construction paper. And this is what I ended up with. 
So I hope you found this writing assignment not only to be constructive, but also fun. Writing, and especially poetry, is a great resource to not only practice the English language, but to also express your thoughts, your feelings, and your dreams. Once you've finished your project, please show us. We at OERB would love to see it. Share your poem with us by emailing a picture of it to teachers at oerb.com or by tagging us on Facebook and Instagram at OERBOK. This could get you a chance to win a prize. Thank you so much for working with me today and have a great week. Thank you.